Hi, it's Joe Naja here once again from the Grappling for Couples Experience. Today we're going to be going over an exercise that you can do with your spouse or significant other. Um, and we call these what? The sexy squat and thrust. So it is exactly what it sounds like. I will be squatting in this case and Joe will be thrusting. Um, and this is a really great um, warm-up exercise that you can do. Um, you know, if you don't have a lot of time to work out and you want to do something that's also physical, like getting a workout with your partner, this is something great you can do. It doesn't take a lot of time. Um, and it's also just a way to be intimate with your partner and... Uh, get a you touch know, on your partner, yeah. get close, get to feel each other's body, touching your body. So it's, it's just a nice, uh, nice way to be close. All right, this is going to be focusing primarily on the quads, the glutes, or the butt. So this is more so for a lower body workout when you're standing on your feet. If you're on your back like I am, this will be also working out your back, but then also work your legs or your glutes as well, um, including your quads. So basically the same thing, but you get a little bit of back workout um, if you're on your back. So or really core all in general. So this is how it's going to go. Um, there's three different types of this exercise. We're going to be having a basic, intermediate, and advanced, or beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, and this is how it's going to go. For the beginner one, it's going to be you taking turns by basically alternating with your partner. So your partner's gonna do a squat, and they're gonna come up, and then I'll come up. And then when they come down, I'll come down, she comes up, I come up. She comes down, I go down, she comes up, I come up. So if you notice, she's doing a full squat, or whoever's standing up does a full squat. The first one bottom, you wait for them. As they come down, you connect, y'all go down together. They'll go up. You'll go out with them, but you'll hold it up top. All right? That's the beginner one. Uh, we'll do about five reps. That way you can see what it looks like. Go ahead. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. Then we have the intermediate version. Intermediate is kind of like a, a meet and greet, basically. So they're going to hold a squat up top. When they hold that squat there at that 90 degree angle, she feels it in her legs. I already feel it shaking a little bit. <laughs> I come up. When she feels me connect, she stands up. That's her break. Now she comes back down. I'm down. I'm up. And the hold is in between. But it doesn't start until you have connected with your partner. All right? So this one's like a meet and greet. All right? And then we have the more advanced version. Now with the more advanced version, this is like a you want to be connected with your partner the entire time. So no matter what, she's never really going to stand up because if I can't go all the way up with my partner, then my partner cannot go up any further. She has to now stay connected to me or vice versa. If I'm on top, then of course, then I would have to stay connected to her. So she'll go ahead and have a seat. Now this time you want to make sure that your legs are pretty close to like a good 90 degree angle. So you want to be close to the armpit of your partner. So I'm not sure if we started the video like that, but that's how you want to make sure that we'll, you want to be nice and square. All right. So I like your legs. <laughs> Not all strong. <laughs> all right, let's get focus on this video. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. See, and this this will happen naturally from doing the exercise. You will be touching. You're gonna be looking at each other. You'll see each other sweat. It's gonna and you and you can still have your clothes on, of course, but you'll still feel that connection with your partner, and it's just gonna make you want to keep connecting with them. And you could also not have your clothes on. This is something like yes, great in the morning, have... rolling over. Let's practice some squats. So this is also something <laughs> you if you want to have twins, open. basically, if you want to have twins, do some. Sexy squat and thrust. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the advanced version. So I'm gonna come up. She's gonna come. Ah, 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 ah. Stay right connected to me, baby. Oh. She's gonna stay right here with me the entire time. I come down. I come up. She stays here. So my partner never stands up. Your break is literally when you sit down with me, but it's not really a break. But then what happens is the tables will start to turn because when her legs get tired then I have to thrust more and have to hold more. And that's when I start filling into my glutes. So you want to make sure that you are always connected for this advanced version. I definitely recommend trying it. Whew. You'll fill it in the butt. It'll get you nice and toned. I know ladies love having a nice, nice curvy booty. Not too firm, but nice and soft. That nice, firm, <laughs> soft one. All right. Uh, but those are three exercises. We have some other things we're going to be showing, but we didn't want to you want to show uh, reverse? Hold up too much time. Actually, let's do that one. So we do have a reverse version that we've been working on. Uh, we'll show you what that looks like. So go ahead and turn around. So say you want to change the view up, and you don't always want to just look at their eyes. You want to start looking at their... Uh, back muscles. Back muscles. Or their Plus. shoulder blades. <laughs> or maybe you want to see their calves. All right? You want to make them turn around. 
Now, with this one, they're really going to be coming more towards your face. But when they come down, their butt's going to be close to your face, but their hands, I would, I would like instead, so we're nice and close, put your hands down for me. You want to make sure that as if you were touching the ground or the bed, but you want to make sure you touch your spouse. All right? So as, you're, as you, uh, whoever's up top, as you come up, I'll come up. As you come down, I stay connected to your hands. So now your hands will be touching me. My hands will be touching you. You'll come up. We disconnect. You come down. Go back down. You come up. We disconnect. You back down. We come down. And this is another way. That as my partner gets tired, then I'm going to be helping push as she comes up. As if I'm doing the actual press. All right. So these are also other variations of the same exercise. If you want to change the angle of uh, what you're doing and you want to get a different feel, that's also an option as well. Um, we have more coming. Of course, please share our videos. Uh, we have a lot of different things we're going to be bringing towards you. So uh, share it, like it, comment. Uh, if you have questions, ask. If you want to see something in particular, you know, let us know. We would love to. To. And then give us feedback. Oh yeah. Give us the exercise feedback. that you're using and doing, and that you enjoy. Give us some feedback on the exercise. If you love them, share them. This is for the grown and sexy. This is couples grappling. So the purpose of this, um, these exercises um, that we're going to do is to enhance your relationship as a couple. So this isn't something you just want to do with any and everybody. This is something if you really want to invest on developing your relationship, getting closer with your partner, being more intimate, getting in shape. Um, this is something really, really fun, and we're really excited to be able to share um, our experience with you and hope that you enjoy it as much as we do. So make sure that you share, you like this video, and this is the couple's uh, grappling experience. Have a great day, and comment below if you have any questions. Banging that ass. We need to pick the girls up to that gate. All right. Hey, Pace. Smart. She's laying in the pillow. Did you ever look at your camera?